already been ordered in this show, and this is actually the very first day it's been presented. So lots of people, I think, are finding this on QVC.com and jumping on it. It's a really awesome ground cover. It's going to flower beautifully, and it doesn't really matter if you step on it because that's why it's called the trample me. So put this in places where you don't want to put mulch. Put it in places where you would love to see color, and what you're getting are your choice of color, red, pink, purple, or white. You see the purple there. We're going to give you a big tray of nine plants. Nine plants for five easy payments of $4.49. Okay, so it ends up being about $2.50 a plant. Can you imagine? $2.50. So here's what you're going to receive. And there are nine plants in there. So $2.50 a plant and they turn into this and can I tell you they actually smell like it kind of reminds me of like I make stuffing at Thanksgiving it kind of smells like my stuffing it smells so good because that thyme so this is thyme the herb but it's so much more so is Devin with us yet do we have I him? am are you there Devin I am oh, okay Sandra. great okay so it's I love here. how this smells is it it's well yeah it is amazing it should remind you of your uh, Thanksgiving stuffing because it is a closely related uh, plant to the time that we cook with, but this time is a little bit different. While it is 100% edible and safe, this is the ultimate ground cover to plant in your garden. When it comes to gardening, I like smart gardening. That is also beautiful gardening, and that's where the time excels because as a problem solver in the garden, this is going to eliminate the need for the mulch in your yard. It's also going to help to smother the weeds so you're not picking weeds all summer long and it slows erosion in the process as well. All the while it produces a blanket of thick evergreen foliage that flowers in the summertime. But best of all, it can handle the foot traffic and still look its best. It's really, really pretty. So now while you need to do is pick what color flower you want your time to produce. So we have red, pink, purple, or white. Yes. Boy, this, the best this is amazing. Way. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm just look looking at like it how, how it just spreads and spreads. Oh my gosh, that looks like look a that. painting. Purple is Isn't the most popular right now. Yes, it's stunning. That's probably three or four collections. And look at it when it's not in bloom. I love using this Trample Me Time ground cover in between your pavers, along your walkways and your borders, because as a ground cover, this is the only flowering ground cover that we've ever come across that can actually handle the foot traffic day in and day out. Look at it set against some beautiful lavender in the background. I love pairing it with lavender. I love pairing it with roses because Definitely. when you roses are in bloom and you want to go smell them, if you have other plants in the way, well, you're going to ruin them if you step on them. Oh, explain this. Can this. Handle the foot traffic. Okay, this yes. is a weird picture, but it's a very interesting story. Can you tell us what's happening here? Yeah, absolutely. So this is our white trample me time. And my uncle Eric, he had planted it in between these stepping stones on the way to the fountain because, you know, you want something beautiful. And if you step on it, it doesn't matter. That's why he planted the trample me time. And this happened to be a few years ago in Indiana. It was the worst drought in a hundred years. Everything was dying, including the grass. He didn't go out and water the lawn. He didn't go out and uh, water the thyme. And while the grass was dying, the thyme was still thriving. That means these are a drought tolerant, water wise plant. So if, we're, if you're trying to conserve water like we all mm -hmm. are, this is a plant that you need to grow. Yeah. You know, I have a friend, Mark Veter, who is a, I mean, he's a master gardener. Like he's in books and magazines. And he's amazing. But um, I went to visit him last, well, I guess it was actually two summers ago. Well, time is really doing some weird stuff this last year. I guess it was not this summer, the summer before. Anyway, we were walking through his gardens and he, I was asking him a lot of questions, trying to learn. And he said to me that the key to his gardens being successful are ground covers. And so uh -huh. he is very invested in his ground covers because it makes everything look really pulled together. Um, and then of course, also you don't have to worry so much about weeds and then mulching. So he has all kinds of plants, but everything is surrounded by ground cover. And I'm looking at this Absolutely. and I'm thinking like, this would be the perfect ground cover because it really takes care of itself. It has the flowers. 
I would love this so frankly, even if it didn't flower, just because of its ability to choke out those weeds and totally. take care of itself. And as well as that, this is such an incredible ground cover because for one, this is so a good. winter hardy ground cover. Even here in Pennsylvania, Vermont, Indiana, mm -hmm. Illinois, Michigan, you can grow this with success and it's gonna remain this beautiful evergreen all through the winter. Mm -hmm. But then in the summertime, it can handle the hot beating sun. It can handle going long periods of time without being watered. This is truly your living mulch, which can help to eliminate the need for all of those uh, bark mulches that cost a lot, they're time consuming, they're back breaking, they're everything we don't like about gardening. This is the solution and it does so with so much style and so much grace. Now, I'm sorry if you already said it, I might have been standing here, to be honest with you, every time the camera's not on me, I'm smelling the time. I do really love how this smells. Um, mm -hmm. It's like aromatherapy, it's so good. Now, I know this can handle the very hot beating sun. Can it, do, totally. can it be okay in like a part sun area or does it really require full sun? The full sun is going to give it okay. the most flowers, but the okay. white one particularly can handle a little bit less uh, okay. sunlight. If we can go through the images, yeah, I'd love take a to look. show you mm -hmm. all the different color choices because they are a Oh good, here we go. Example. Walk us through. Yeah, look at the pink. I love having these along walkways, along borders. These are perfect on slopes. Would you want to put mulch there? No, because no. it's going to wash out. Grass, do you want to mow that? I don't. Um, here you can see the white just starting to flower. In between those pavers, the grass was dying because nothing was getting watered, but the thyme was thriving. Look at that. This is truly a perfect plant for problem areas around the garden. On a slope so in, so intense like that, not many plants can, can survive there, but this is flowering beautifully. I love this that picture. That purple is so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at it just growing among those rocks. And if, Absolutely. Yeah. By the way, 2,000 have just been ordered in the last few minutes, 18,000 today. If you want this, please don't wait. That is just magical looking. Yes. yes. And you know, and with this value today, it is such an awesome opportunity. Get four or five of these collections and you can really start to make some headway on eliminating the mulch altogether. Right there, that's probably about five collections. You simply space them in the garden around 18 inches apart and over the course of two seasons, they'll meet, the, you know, their shoulders will touch and they'll start to totally cover the ground with their beautiful plant, with the beautiful evergreen foliage and then the flowers like this in the summertime. I love that red, it's so vibrant. Wow, it's so pretty. Uh, the purple right now is the most popular. Pink is the most limited. Red is gorgeous. You don't really typically see a lot of red ground cover. You really don't. And when it comes to flowering ground cover, uh, you know, there's no other flowering ground covers that can handle the foot traffic. So if your kids accidentally yeah. ride their bike through it, or you know, you want to go take a little nap on it, <laughs> or your dogs are running through it, other ground covers, succulent ground covers, or things mm -hmm. like Pachysandra, those would probably get ruined not this this can handle the ground the foot this. traffic every single day i mean if you can see here like look at just the way this spreads now it's not what we would call invasive you don't have to be worried about that but no. it does spread so beautifully Absolutely. like it's so lush like how could a weed ever survive this Correct. That's actually like technically correct because weeds, they need light and they need water in order to sprout. This is not going to give them any light. So they're not, they're just not going to have room for weeds. Mm -hmm. But what I love about this collection this year, because this is our 20th anniversary, as you know, last year we offered a six piece collection for the same value. Oh my but gosh. This is our 20. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I should have said that. I wrote that down. I'm so taken by the flowers. I forgot. You know what? I apologize. I should have told everyone that at the beginning. He's right. Last year, it, the plant itself isn't new. We've presented it before, but they did a six piece collection for about $22.47. This year, as Roberta celebrates their 20th anniversary, they're giving us nine plants for the cost of what they did six plants last year. So you are really getting nine plants for last year's six plant price. It comes to $2.50 a plant. And each one of these plants can become this. Yes. It is an amazing and just, value and free shipping and handling. It is. And I just wanted to remind you, you know, if you want to plant it into your last year's mulch, you don't have to go out and 
dig that mulch out. You simply plant it right in there. And okay. each one of your plants, you plant it in last year's mulch. And this one plant is gonna grow and look like something like this by the end of the second or third season. So imagine if you did get four or five of these collections, how much beauty, how much ease, awesome. effortless really gardening sense. you can create. It really does. Oh, you know, I should mention, cause we haven't really talked about it as, at all, but if you do need some help digging, Roberta's has a really nice auger that you can attach to we your sure drill. Do. So I would recommend that.